Hey, what's up guys? It's Benji Thousand Y Joe, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero. And today, guys, I am bringing you another matchup in the top 16, and that is Cyber Dragon Revolution versus Warrior Strikes. So basically what this matchup is, it is man versus machine, and it's gonna be epic. So, I, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but you definitely are gonna be kind of... I think you're going to find the matchup to be rather interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy. Real quick, if you're new to this series, basically this is my ongoing experiment to determine the best structure deck in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And the way we do things here is we have this conversation at the front. I'm going to throw you some replay footage in the middle with, with some music so you guys can enjoy that. And then we're going to talk about the, the matchup and why the winner is the winner. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, guys... Let's watch the matchup. we 
All right, there you have it, guys. That's the matchup. Now, here's the we always the way we do this in uh, on the structure deck boards is we basically have the losers deck first, and then I'll showcase the winner. So, let's talk about why this deck lost real fast, straight to the point. The ultimately, I think what was the defining factor is that the 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 this deck can only go so high in terms of attack points i think that was one of the things that was a defining factor for this matchup i think that uh ultimately also i think you know sometimes sometimes it's luck's on your side so even though i think that this deck is a little more consistent and its wins are a little more like defined than say the cyber dragons wins sometimes fate plays a role in this game and to be honest like i think that that's kind of what happened here a little bit i think to be honest i think that this deck is actually better than the cyber dragon deck but it's still lost um it did have some things going for it it had like the ability to spam multiple monsters on the field it had a competent backup you know competent spells and traps i mean it was it's a good structure deck it really is um, but the Gemini monsters slow it down, unfortunately. So the things that were making this deck win were the monsters that weren't Gemini monsters. So it is what it is on that front. Um, but also, like I said, they can only go so high. Whereas if we come over to the Cyber Dragon structure deck, uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit bigger. Um, we have things like uh, Limiter Removal, Mega Morph, and Nova here, who are just can get so big that the other guy can't get anything around it. Plus, this deck, I think, also had the ability to stall out when it needed to. So, for example, it had things like Reflect Bounder to inflict the damage to the opponent. It had uh, Cyber Larva to stall. And then, like I said, it had alternate ways to get to its better monsters. So, for example, if the J destroy Nova, which, you know, some, you know, sometimes that's the only way to get around things. You still get Cyber Twin, which even though that's not the best option the Cyber Dragon deck can go for, it can still go for it. And it's still the, the biggest monster in the other deck is equal attack, but this dude can hit twice. Also, we have Cyber Cyber Eltanen, who could get big, but also is a board wipe. So, ultimately, I think that's what happened. It's just this deck also got a little bit lucky. It also had its own roundabout way of getting more monsters in the field, and it just had bigger monsters to throw. So, ultimately, ultimately that's why I think the Cyber Dragon deck it won. Um, so it is going into the top eight. So I don't, I don't know if Yugi No No watches my channel, but if he does it, if he does, he's probably like, you know, yes, right now. <laughs> That's right. This deck's winning because Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus is on its side. <laughs> That's a horrible joke, I know. Anyway, guys, uh, if you're enjoying the Structure Deck Wars, make sure you drop me one of these. It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, we're going to be streamlining these, so you might not see much else on my channel other than this for a little while. There is a reason for that, though, and you guys are going to see in the top eight why. I'm really stoked to show you that, so uh, make sure you stay tuned. Um, I'm going to try to get as many of these pushed out as possible, so uh, don't be surprised for the next week if that's what you see. Uh, anyway, guys... Just I gave you a fair warning. Anyway, guys, I'm Ben 2000 Joe. I'm your friendly neighbor, Yu-Gi-Oh! Superhero, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.